Welcome to Blackpool. Here today, it's my partner's first time, so I thought I would share a bunch of uh, hints and tips for going around the park. Right, I'll start with the first tip. First tip is when you are booking, go for a group ticket. So if you buy all your tickets together in the app or on the website, you can make a single QR code rather than having one QR code for every single person. Take a screenshot of it, make it the lock screen, and then job done. Then you're not faffing. I see so many people scanning ticket after ticket after ticket. I'm annoyed they've still got the scanning on the ride, so I don't think they need it. They don't have a, a non-rider ticket anymore. But this way, if you're in a group, one QR code, scan it, and that's you all on the ride. So, next tip if you're coming here, everybody when they come, tends to go on either the flying machines in the entrance or head straight to the big race, Icon, and uh, the big one. There's two rides here that once they get a queue later in the day, they are a nightmare, and that is Nickelodeon Streak, which we are at now, and Avalanche. So if you want to get on everything, head to these two first, because in the morning they're easy to get on, later in the day, they're a nightmare. So next tip is, on each of the rides, take a look, they all have a board that tells you what time they open and what time they close. So some of them don't open when the park opens, or maybe a little bit later. Some of them also shut before the park shuts. Now, like a lot of parks, as long as you're in the queue at that time, you're fine. So if it says shuts at four, you can sneak in at 3.59. Uh, but just make sure not everything opens when the park opens and not everything closes when the park closes. Another hint is Icon. Icon has one of the three trains has two spinning seats on the back, uh, an upcharged event called Enzo. It's £15, pounds. Uh, definitely worth doing, but if you're going to do it, try and make sure that you either go on your own or that there's a good weight difference between the two people, because otherwise you won't spin very much. If you are on your own, sit on the seat on the left, so that when you spin, you're facing the camera. If you sit on the seat on the right, well, then you won't get a photo on the right. So, definitely worth doing. Uh, you can pay for it in the app, and it's usually about 20 minutes, half an hour, till you get on it. Uh, even when there's no queue, which is weird. Uh, but it's a fun experience. So another tip is photos. Uh, whenever I go to a park, I quite enjoy getting the photos on the rides. Uh, Blackpool has two different photo passes. They've got one for the rides itself, and they've got a different experience where it's like characters and you get photos taken over by the fountains. So make sure you get the right one. Uh, the, photo, the right one's really easy though. There's a QR code that you scan, you put your phone number in, and then it's actually quite a good system they've got now, they've changed it. You basically add your photos to this throughout the day, um, and you can't download them unless you've paid, but that means you can add your photos throughout the day, and at the end of the day, if you've taken loads of good photos and you want, if you've taken loads of photos and you want to then do them, you pay at the end of the day. So you can add them all throughout the day and make the decision later on. Um, and then, you know, they sit there for months. I've got ones from last year that are still showing up in my account. Um, so I don't know how long they last, but great option if you want to get photos. So next tip is make sure you install the Pleasure Beach app, uh, available for iOS and Android. It's a fairly basic app. It doesn't show you like a map of the park way around, but it does show you ride times. It tells you which rides have photos, which rides have speedy pass, tells you if rides are closed, actually tells you what time they closed today. Um, the times are hit and miss as with, with any app. Sometimes it'll say something that's going to take 10 minutes, it takes longer, and vice versa. Uh, but definitely something to install to help guide you around the park. So another thing to look out for is the, the Hot Ice Show, which is just along the side of Wallace and Gromit. It's a sort of world-known attraction here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's a paid ticket in the evening, but they do have to show for free in the summer, or they usually do. It's not open right now, so I'm not sure if they're going to do it this year. Uh, but it's something to check when you're here, because 
at lunchtime or just after lunch, you can go in there and get about an hour watching the, the show that your lunch settled. And it's a free thing to do. So another thing that uh, quite a lot of people miss out on when they're here is the, the Pleasure Beach Express, the train that goes around the park. Uh, it's a great thing to get on after lunch, to let your lunch settle. Um, and it runs roughly every 15 minutes. Uh, you'll see it going around. Um, and yeah, just something to get on and, and relax on your, your visit. Also with the train, there is a second station, just kind of here, right beside the two hotels. But bizarrely, they only stop at this at the end of the night, so at the end of the day, you are staying in the hotel, you can get the train, I think it's 15 minutes before park closes. I don't know why they don't stop here all the time, but if you are staying, you can see me. If, they, if you are staying on site, then you can take advantage of that. Another tip, if you're going to do Grand National, which is a Mobius loop, so you start on one side of the track, you end up on the other side. Um, some people think it's a great wooden coaster, some people think it's a bit of a torture device. It has three rows of the seats. You don't want to be at the front and you don't want to be at the back because that's over the wheels and it is rough. But you can try and get the middle row and it'll be a little bit less rough. I'm not going to say smooth because it's not smooth, but try and get the middle row if you can. So a little tip, if you're going to do Infusion, which is kind of some people will probably say it's the same as Nemesis. It's an inverted coaster, you're hanging from the track. Um, it is very rough, very, very, very rough. It's an absolute headbanger. So, you know, you will probably end up with a sore head. Try and get as close to the front as you can. Again, I am not gonna say it's a smooth ride, but it's smoother at the front than at the back. We've been on the back out there today. Nothing, ouch. I've been on that many times and it was the roughest I've ever been. So if you are going on infusion, try and stay at the front and prepare for an absolute headbanging. So I guess one important thing when you come to a theme park is what you're going to do for food. Well, Pleasure Beach has tons of options. You've got Burger King, you've got, I know you can eat pizza past the buffet. Um, you've got a nice restaurant that does quesadillas, burritos, fajitas, um, nachos. You've got burger places, you've got fish and chips, you've got hot dogs, you've got fake chicken, fake KFC, you've got paninis, there's chicken and chips over by Valhalla. There's tons of options. The other thing is, you can leave the park, right? So you can leave at lunchtime, go get some eat, something to eat. Your ticket won't work when you come back in, so you need to tell them when you're leaving and they'll let you in when you come back. Uh, but there's tons of options on park. And you're in Blackpool, so there's tons of options outside the park. So another thing, maybe not so much a tip, more just kind of advice, is parking, right? Obviously, most people will bring their car. Blackpool does have a car park just at the entrance. Uh, it's convenient, I use it all the time, but it isn't the cheapest, it's 18 pounds. Um, there is another car park just outside the Pleasure Beach, which is a little bit cheaper. Um, and there is, if you look online and search, you can get free parking in different parts of Blackpool. I'm not gonna list the streets because it probably changes, uh, but if you are looking for free parking, then I suggest just have a quick Google. Um, but yeah, there's a car park here. You can stay in this car park till midnight. So if you come at the Pleasure Beach and then you go for dinner or whatever, you can just leave your car here and then collect it at the end of the day. So my final tip, um, if you go on Valhalla, you're, you're gonna get absolutely soaked. And we did have ponchos on, it makes no difference. My final tip, if you can, and this probably sounds really obvious, try and come here on an off-peak day, or a Sunday if you can't, Sundays are usually quite quiet. To be fair, today's been not too bad. We're here on a Saturday. We've managed 16 rides, which actually is probably one of the best I've done on all my visits to the park. Um, but definitely, if you can come on a weekday, not in the summer, obviously, you should be really good. Sundays are typically quite quiet. Um, if you've got any other tips that I've missed, please leave them in the comments below for other people. If you've enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. 
I've been Chris, you've been watching Coaster Dad, and I will see you in the next one. Adios.